On this screen, we can select our time signature. If I click in any one of these radio buttons, I can select 2 2, 2 4, and 3 4. If I want to select a different time signature than what's available with the radio buttons, I can click in Other, click on this drop down box, and I'm going to select ooh, 7. And I click on this drop down box and select eighth notes. So I'll have seven eighth notes in each bar. Since I'm doing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, I don't think I want to do the Dave Brubeck version today. So we'll go back to 4-4. Four, four. This button here, when you click on it, you can go in and set the beam and rest groups. Again, by default, those things are already taken care of for you in Sibelius. So I'm just going to leave that for now. The next option is the Pickup or Anacrusis bar. I can click in this box to add a bar, and it says start with bar length. Right now, it's set to start at a quarter note. If I click on this drop-down box, I can add a half note. So I'll have a bar with a quarter note and a half note. If I want to change it to something else, I can click inside the box. Notice there's my flashing insert. Press the delete key, delete what's in that box, click on the drop down box, and select an eighth note. So I could start with an eighth note pickup. Since I don't want that for this score, I'm going to click in the box again to turn off the check mark. Next, I can set up the tempo. If I click on the drop down box, I can select different tempos Adagio, Allegro, Andante, and so on. I can select any one of these. We'll select Andante. That will appear at the beginning of my score. Or, if I want, I can click in that box, use the delete key, and type in my own tempo text. Very slow with expression. As opposed to playing it very slowly like a machine. Instead, I'm going to click and drag over the text press delete. And I'm going to go back up and I'll choose my very favorite Andante. Double click and Andante is automatically selected and it appears in the tempo box. I can also put in a metronome marking. To do that, I click in this box and that turns on the option for metronome mark. Right now it's a quarter note equals 100, which is not exactly Andante. If I click on this drop-down box, I could select half notes, so now a half note is 100, or 30-second notes. I'm going to go back to quarter notes, and I can also type in a new value. I'm going to type in 82, so a quarter note equals 82. Now that we've set our time signature, let's click on the next button to go to the next screen.